Hello everyone, uh, this is Ori Bloop. Welcome back to another Game Builder Garage tutorial. Um, today we have uh, a basic tutorial. It's how to make a countdown timer in your guys' projects. Um, this is also like, it's also called like a speed run timer. So if it goes down to zero, then either the game will end or um, the game will restart. So um, I'm just going to show you how to do that in this video. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So if we see that we have a, uh, a simple third person camera, um, I've covered this so many times. Uh, if we go to edit mode, it's really, really basic. But um, if you want to know how to do this in the top right, there, there will be a, a link to a six camera uh, type tutorial, which will show you how to do this. Um, but let's actually go ahead and create the uh, the counter itself. So um, the first thing we want to do is um, understand how the counter works and how to make it um, go down. So if we go to middle and grab our counter, basically if we go in the settings, um, we want this counter to count down. Um, so what we need to do is um, the starting value needs to be uh, what we want it to start with, basically. Um, so if we go to range, uh, we can go ahead and make the range for how long we want the counter to be. Um, the best thing, the best way I found it to do is if we grab a constant of 0 0.01 and then a count range of uh, 0 to 6. Um, 0 to 6 is about 10 seconds. So if we go down to 6, um, since we're counting down, um, we don't want to start at 0. So we, we want to start at 6 because that's where... Uh, we're going to count down from. So if we go to six like that, there we go. Um, so if we exit out of that, uh, we need something to uh, actually count this down. So we need to go to input and get a constant. And like I said, for the constant, the slowest way to um, output something from the constant is if you go to settings and change this to 0 0.01. Um, so it's counting down from six and uh, six is about 10 seconds, like I said, and we just need to connect the constant to the countdown. Um, and then automatically it will start counting down and six to zero, it will be right now. So that was about 10 seconds. Um, and so we can display this if we go to objects and we go ahead and grab a special object and a number object. So if we go ahead and look in game, uh, we can go ahead and see that it will start automatically counting down four, three, two, and then one. And then as soon as it hits zero, we want something to happen. So uh, to do that, what we want to do is um, we want to compare it with something. And it's going to be comparing with something that's zero. So if we go to middle and we grab a comparison... We can go ahead and connect it directly to the uh, counter. And then for the input, uh, we need a constant, but uh, we don't want anything to display on the constant because we want it to uh, equal zero. So if we go in the settings and then we can change that to zero, we can just go ahead and connect it to the comparison. So basically what's happening here is our constant is feeding the counter. And then once the counter reaches zero, um, which it will display here, it will also compare with our constant of uh, zero up here, and it will send an output. So with this output, that means that we can go ahead and uh, retry the game, or we can end the game. It just depends what you guys want to do. Um, maybe you can swap games, and like you could change it to a different level or something. Uh, but let's go ahead and try retry game. And we can go ahead and just connect it directly to the result of our comparison. So if we go ahead and look in game, we can see that it's counting down. So four, three, two, one. And then as soon as it hits zero, the game just restarts itself. So um, that's basically how you count down. And if you want to change this, um, if you go to counter, you can all you have to do is change the range and change the starting value. So um, so if this is 10 seconds, uh, zero to six, if we add another six to it, then it will be, um, 12. So zero to 12, and that will equal 20 seconds because the first is 10 and then another 10. So 20 seconds. And we need to make sure that the starting value is 12 as well. It needs to match, um, the starting value needs to match, uh, the, uh, count range, uh, and the highest number in the count range. 
So if we go ahead and look one more time in the game, so we can just have it count down. You can attach this probably to the top of our um, camera, but for right now, I just want it to be here as a block. So if we go ahead and uh, once it reaches zero, that was about 20 seconds. And then there, the game just restarts itself. So this can be used in all types of projects and hopefully uh, you guys found it useful. Um, <laughs> there's not much to say. It's, it's a really basic tutorial, but um, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, consider liking possibly. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, catch you guys in another tutorial. Bye-bye.